السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو مائی ایم ایس وائی اکیڈمی فرسٹ آف آل آئی ایم پلیز ٹو اناؤنس دیٹ ایم ایس وائی اکیڈمی از گوئنگ ٹو اسٹارٹ اے سیریز آف ویکیبلری بلڈنگ پروگرام فار ایٹ آل اکیڈیمک لیولس ایز ویل ایز فار پروفیشنل پرپزز لرننگ اے لینگویج ناٹ آنلی ریکوائرڈس ڈیولپنگ understanding about a particular language by examining generative and descriptive rules of grammar about sentence structures but also building its word power called vocabulary learning english requires two approaches first the category of a word whether it functions as a noun as a verb as an adjective or as an adverb in a particular sentence secondly it is concerned with the meaning of words as diction and expression in order to understand the contextualized meaning or context in which it is used in both spoken as well as written communication in this regard r- relating to diction and expression i have my ample thesis as well as a couple of research paper published which i am going to share by giving a short introduction and there are some certain examples that may broaden your concept of understanding diction and expression how a word is delicately used in its proper occasion on its proper occasion so this is what is the most important in language uh, in order to uh, ensure that we are very close to the native Uh, speakers language application at the end i would say before taking up the session i would say building of vocabulary requires a systematic approach msy academy is going to ensure applying the most interesting and exciting ways in enhancing your word power so stay in tuned and please subscribe my channel so not a single session may be missed in today's session i am going to explain 10 most important words in the category of ad- adjective or adjectives relating to personality with respect to conversation so it is very important in today's session 10 most important words that revolve around the idea of various kinds of ways of talking or not talking many of the adjectives are close in meaning but each contain its unique difference so in this way through these words we can also categorize the different personalities with this vocabulary through their habit of conversation so let's start saying little taciturn saying little meaning much laconic want to say more but lack of words in articulate much talk little sense garrulous on original banal words 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 verbs words in quick succession voluble words that convince cogent 
the sound and the fury vociferous quantity and continuity loquacious how us ex president calvin coleridge beats a woman journalist there is an anecdote about calvin coleridge who when he was president of the usa was often called though probably not to his face silent cal a young newspaper woman was sitting next to him at a banquet so the story goes and turned to him mischievously mr college she said i have a bet with my editor that i can get you to say more than two words to me this evening you lose college rejoined simply couple of the first two words appear to be same in meaning but there is a contrast in diction silence unresponsive taciturn it means saying little habitually when people do not like to talk and they are naturally unresponsive so they are known as taciturn economy brevity meaningfulness laconic it also means saying little but meaning much like the president who spoke few words but the meaningful words brevity very terse statement very a uh, witty statement and which is meaningful witty statements are always very few in words and great in meanings awkwardness spluttering incoherence an articulate it is a sort of adjective that under the pressure of some strong emotions fear rag or anger for example people find it very hard or impossible to speak any more words so this is known an articulate when someone is inarticulate it means he lacks words and appropriate words rambling chatter garrulous garrulous may also be suggested or it may be taken as the opposite meaning of laconic or taciturn here it is much talk little sense and in laconic little saying much a uh, meaning much here it is meaning less but talking much hackneyed on original banal so everything they say is hackneyed on original full of clashing wordiness repetitiousness verbs mostly in writing essay some teachers they after underlining certain words they try to give this remark verbs verbs mean there i mean it the text may be the full of words but not meaningful the idea is there is no valuable idea no mature idea is there fluency rapidity quick succession voluble voluble fluency rapidity voluble the words in quick succession they are very rapid and very fluent talkers the words seem to be rolling off their tongues with such an ease and lack of effort and sometimes with such copiousness that you listen with 
amazement, logic, clarity, persuasiveness, cogent, the words which are very convincing and they express their ideas persuasively, brilliantly in a way that calls for a wholehearted agreement from the listener. Noise vehemence or you may say the sound and the fury. Vociferous, their talk is loud, noisy, clamorous, vehement. What may be lacking in content is compensated for force and loudness. Talkativeness, loquacious. Loquacious may be very close to banal. So loquacious is uh, when people talk a great deal and they may be voluble, vociferous, garrulous, verbose, but never articulate, taciturn or laconic. It is no matter it is quantity or continuity that are most conspicuous. Exercise 1. After having gone through certain meanings of certain words in conversation, so this exercise is presented to you to find relevant meanings of each word listed as 1 to 10 with A to J. So you need to match it and then uh, on the comment section. So the first one is attempted for you, this example. Number one may be with I. Taciturn, unwilling to engage in talk. So in this way, you might demonstrate your ability of committing the words in your memory and developing understanding the words and meanings. At the end of this exercise, test your memory now without seeing the words. The beginning letter of each word is given here. So attempt it. Wish you good luck. Thanks for being with MSY Academy.